particular person and his arrest. What is, who is that person? Julian Assange. Who is this person? We'll see the background information. That is his image or picture rather. And uh, WikiLeaks, you must be knowing, is an international non-profit organization that publishes secret information, news leaks, and classified media provided by anonymous sources. Classified means something that is sensitive. Sensitive, everyone cannot have access to that information. Anonymous, name not disclosed. Anonymous sources, its website initiated in 2006 in Iceland by the organization Sunshine Press claims a database of 10 million documents in 10 years since its launch. Julian Assange, an Australian internet activist, is generally described as its founder and director. And this editorial is all about, he has been arrested. He has been arrested in London. So based on that article has been written. It is all about, this article is about, the trigger is his arrest, but article editorial is about, on one hand it is about the right to information, that is one thing, or the other one, the other side of the equilibrium, it is about uh, to what extent we can disclose information. When you think of the security of the country, we can disclose certain things, we cannot disclose certain things. So what has to be given priority and what has to be kept aside. And he talks about this person's background, where he was arrested, why he was arrested, and what are the cases against him, what is the impact of that, and finally, he concludes from this particular perspective. What is it? Is it right or wrong? Can it be justified or can it be? We cannot justify that. So that's it. Now, what is the heading here? Secrets and agents. Arrest of Assange. The arrest of Julian Assange raises fears about, raises fears, means people get scared. About what? Suppression of the right to information. As I said, this is all about a right to information on one side of the scale or equilibrium. Right, today I'm not going to, have you got the meanings? Intentionally, because yesterday I got the feedback uh, from one of the students, so not advisable to give the meaning, better I tell, then you listen and write. So suppression, please write the meaning. Suppress means what? First you write the word subdue. Subduing. Also write the word repression. Suppression means what? A repression or subduing. You control someone. That is called suppression. A right one combination. Suppressed emotions. Suppressed. But the form changes, not suppression. Suppressed emotions. Some people they suppress emotions. That is very dangerous. You should always let out your Emotions. In the U.S., you'll be surprised to know. At the workplace, usually your boss is not a good person. What is the reason? He cannot control his wife. He wants to control the employees. That is a problem. You see a poster in the office. Boss is always right. So one employee went and wrote, except at home. <laughs> it is a usual, natural thing. No one can change that. So many employees, they have a lot of grudge against the boss. They cannot shout at the boss. They cannot uh, take out their emotions. And in the US, some houses, they have one separate room. It is to take out the emotions. So what they do there, the psychologist or psychiatrist suggests, they take something like a small doll. They write the name of the boss. And they try to use uh, pins and all. They try to do something. And they take out the emotions that way. I'm not exaggerating. They do it because it's a good thing. Otherwise, what happens? Write this expression, suppressed emotions, better expression, pent up, P-E-N-T, pent up emotions. Pent up emotions means the same thing, they're very dangerous. Finally, what happens, you don't take out your emotions, you have a lot of suppressed emotions or pent up emotions, that results in depression, very dangerous. You should always take it out. Session is not good, tell the master, sir, very boring session. Not at all a good session, but you keep it inside for a long time. Once it's okay, twice it's okay. Every day, not good, not a good thing. That is on the lighter side. So here, suppression of what? The right to information. The arrest of Julian Assange, the head of the anti-secrecy website WikiLeaks, 
has renewed. Please underline the word renewed. Means what? Brought into limelight. Sometime back they must have discussed, they stopped. Renewed. You don't know the word renewal. Renewed what? A global debate on. In one exam they gave debate, the preposition, wrong preposition. What is the preposition? It goes or it takes. Debate on something. Debate on what? Debate on balancing freedom of expression or the right to information with considerations towards the national security of a country. So we have to decide which is more important, the national security of a country or the right to information, which is more important. Accordingly, one has to. The entire passage is about that. After nearly seven years of eluding authorities in the US, eluding, write the meaning. You got this word the other day. Elude means what? One is escape, dodge, dodge, D-O-D-G-E, dodge, escape. So eluding authorities in the US and the UK facing charges related to the theft of classified information. Classified information means what? Sensitive information should not be revealed or disclosed. From government computers, he was dragged out of the, drag out means what? Pulled out, pulled out of the Ecuadorian embassy in London on April 11th, following Ecuador President Lenin Moreno's withdrawal of his country's grant of asylum to Mr. Assange. Now, actually, he had an, some sort of immunity. What was immunity? Ecuador President Lenin Moreno gave some sort of uh, immunity. We use the word asylum. Asylum has got two different meanings. One meaning, please write the meaning of the word asylum. Place for, this is a derogatory term, mentally disturbed people. What is the word for that? Lunatics, lunacy. What is the noun form? Lunacy. Asylum. Here we say mental patients. That doesn't sound right. Asylum, mental hospital, doesn't sound right. Asylum, better. But another meaning of asylum, please write uh, shelter. Political shelter, not simple shelter, shelter. Also write protection. So Ecuador president gave some sort of asylum to this person, but later what happened, he withdrew that. Because he withdrew, this person was dragged out and he was arrested. And uh, for what? Uh, why did he withdraw? For repeated violations to international conventions and daily life protocols. You understand the sentence? Earlier he had some sort of immunity because the Ecuadorian president withdrew his, that grant immunity or asylum. He was dragged out and arrested. And uh, repeated violations to international conventions. Conventions means what? Practices. Please write. Convention. Write one word. Practices. Traditionals, traditions, I'm sorry, traditions. Conventional means what? Traditional. Conventions, traditions. Also practices. And daily life protocols. But the word protocol doesn't go with uh, daily life. Generally, please write, uh, protocol goes with government. Please write, uh, the president, the prime minister, and IAS officers or bureaucrats. When the collector comes, the MRO or the assistant collector, the sub-collector, they have to go receive. That is according to protocol. When the minister comes, the collector has to, as a head of the district, he has to go receive the minister according to the protocol. When the prime minister or the president comes to the state, the CM has to receive. That is according to the protocol. That goes with the higher level. But perhaps this is also right. What is the combination here? Daily life protocols. Ecuador had earlier limited Mr. Assange's internet access. So slow development. First they stopped his internet access. Then they withdrew the immunity or asylum. As he sits in jail for up to a year on bail jumping charges. And uh, what, is, what is the impact of this? The next sentence talks about the impact of this. As he sits in jail for up to a year on bail jumping, char bail jumping charges from 2012, in a now closed case relating to sexual assault allegations. This, I'm going to present differently, today's editorial. At the fag end of, you, have, you don't see meanings anywhere. I'm going to tell you have to write. And at the fag end, I'm going to show what can be learned from this editorial. 
There you see about uh, 10 phrases, about 20 words that helps you what is the use of listening to him, what is the use of uh, reading this editorial. So remember, sexual assault allegations. First you underline the word assault means what? Write the meaning, attack. Assault means attack. Also write the word assailant. Write one word, assailant, attackers. Assailants means what? Attackers. And allegations. Allegation means what? Accusation, right? Accusation. Point out someone saying that he has done something wrong. Allege, a verb, allegation, noun. Accusation also means the same. So allegations by a complainant. Write the meaning of the word. What do you understand from the word complainant? Someone who has complained. Easy to understand, but there's a better word. Please write the word plaintiff. The person who files a case or the person who complains is known as what? The legal term plaintiff. Simple English complainant. From Sweden, he will find out whether he will ultimately face the prospect of extradition. Write the meaning of the word extradition. So sitting in the jail is thinking what could be the next step, what could be the impact. One possibility, extradition. Write the meaning of extradition. It means deportation. Deport, deportation. And one more, right? Banishment. Banish, banishment. Banish is a verb, banishment is a noun. But generally we say deport, extradition, from one country to another country. So he's thinking what could be the next thing. So the prospect of extradition to the US, they, Mr. Assange, is looking at a single count of conspiring. Underline the word conspiring. Conspiring means what? You join hands with someone to do something illegal or harmful. Conspire means plan for something negative with someone. Plan for something negative with someone. Simple, I'm giving simple uh, meaning. You join hands with someone to harm someone or to do something negative. Then we use the word, what is the noun form of this? Conspiracy, write the word conspiracy. That you all must be knowing. Conspire, verb. Conspiracy, noun form. Conspiring with former US Army intelligence officer, Chelsea Manning. I think something is missing. To Chelsea Manning to break into a secret government computer network. Please underline the expression break into. This is a phrasal verb. I think you got the other day. Break into means what? Enter by force. Usually this goes with thieves. Sometimes it goes with police. Imagine someone commits suicide, locking from inside. Then they have to break the door. Then we use the word, the police had to break into the house. Had to break into in the past. And uh, a secret government computer network. Conspiracy charges rather than those under the Espionage, this is also a very good word, means what? Spying, exactly. Write the meaning of the word espionage, means what? Spying. You all know the word spying. Spying. So espionage act are what he will likely face, given concerns in the UK, but UK has its own objections about extradition. What is that? that he should not be extradited to any country where the death penalty is applicable in his case. They don't want that person to be extradited to a country where the possible uh, sentence is what? Death penalty. Please underline the death penalty. Means what? There is, uh, you kill someone using a rope or electrocution, whatever, death penalty, easy to understand. But a better expression, sometimes you get this in the descriptive paper, Please write capital punishment. What is it? Capital punishment. Capital punishment means the same, death penalty. You may get as a passage, they may ask you to write, you may ask why, sir, how is this important? Today, if you take in the Western world, 
capital punishment has been banned of many countries and in our country the intelligentsia or the intellectual of intellectuals of this country they have started saying we should also ban the death penalty or we should ban the capital punishment so it has become a little controversial and it has been in the limelight sooner or later they will take a decision and they may ban capital punishment or death penalty at the heart of the drama there is another phrase heart of the drama is a question whether mr assange is a journalist in the traditional sense of the word and whether following that line of reasoning freedom of expression is endangered or constrained by the action taken in this case now this sentence is a little difficult to understand what does it mean first we have to consider we have to decide whether he is a journalist or not the writer asks the question imagine you consider this person a journalist then definitely you have to think use a line of reasoning or the track of thinking freedom of expression is endangered or constrained by the action taken in this case he wanted to express something boldly he wanted to reveal something that is uh, classified information as a journalist he has done his duty can it be justified or there is some sort of uh, encroachment on freedom of press that's what it means endangered means what already i've got many a time threatened please write the meaning endangered means threatened constrained means what limited or restricted write two words one is limited the other is restricted constrained by the action taken in this case there is some irony in this debate irony irony has got two different meanings but typical meaning of that a contrasting situation a situation where you have positive thing as well as negative thing so please write the meaning irony means a situation where you have a situation where you have a positive thing as well as a negative thing simultaneously positive and negative at the same time then we use the expression irony the irony is a lot of students want to improve their scores when it comes to english the irony is they don't want to read the newspaper you got the meaning there is one more word for that please write the word paradox what is the word paradox opposite things exist at the same time it's a paradox we cannot explain there is no answer for that shall i continue there is some irony in this debate given that the voices of liberal america are clamoring you got the other day the word clamor means what uproar very good write the word uproar someone was asking sir why not protest but this has got related to one keyword what is it loud noisy thing loud and noisy clamor uproar the loudest for is interrogation for the alleged crime of conspiracy not so much in the case of the us diplomatic cables or the dissemination you got this word also dissemination means what widespread and it goes with uh, what is the combination word information please write dissemination of information of related top secret us government information see you have the word information dissemination of top secret us government information but owing to means what due to very good please write owing to due to wikileaks being linked to rogue actors in russia rogue means bad elements scoundrels who allegedly purloined this is a not a regular word write the meaning of purloin purloined means steal steal you know the word steal steal stole stolen it goes with thieves it is the same meaning steal steal what democratic party documents and handed them over to mr assange for use on his website they by tipping the scales this is also a very good expression tipping the scales means what changing the balance in favor of someone tipping the scales means changing the balance in favor of someone in this context in favor of you all must be knowing donald trump in this case donald trump they have mentioned that also in donald trump's favor in the 2016 election nevertheless there are five words related to grammar what can you learn from this five grammar related 10 phrase related 20 words so underline the word nevertheless 
In one particular exam, they gave a closed test, one blank, and the students were left uh, three options not right, but two words, nevertheless, however. Then in this context, you have to select nevertheless. What is the reason? They both mean the same. They go, they go with written English or effective English. But nevertheless is a little more formal than however. So remember that. Nevertheless, can WikiLeaks be considered a mainstream media organization? Again, he asks a question. Is he a journalist? And is this organization, does it belong to mainstream? Already I've got the word mainstream. Means what? Most of a country. When I talk about tribal people, they're not part of the mainstream India. So media, we have different types. Today, I got the word map information. There, I will give a few words. Please underline mainstream media organization. Perhaps not. He says, perhaps not. However, the arrest highlights troubling facts. Not happy with the arrest. Some troubling facts are there, including that the indictment. Indictment is an important word. It means accusation of a crime. Please write. Accusation of a crime. Accusation of a crime. One meaning. Second meaning, write the second meaning. It means indication or illustration of something bad in the society. Indication or illustration. You know the word indicate. Indicate is a verb. What is the noun form? Indication. Indication or illustration. Illustrate, verb form, illustration of what? Something bad in the society. Indictment against Mr. Assange revealed. Reveal means what? Disclose, make public. Only this month appears to be flimsy. Underline the word flimsy, it has got two different meanings. One meaning, easily breakable. Easily breakable. What is the other word for easily breakable? Brittle, fragile. Write those two words also. One is fragile, the other is brittle. B-R-I-T-T-L-E. See, I see some students not writing. That's not a good thing. If you don't write, better you don't come. Very simple. If you are not interested, don't come. As simple as that. No one is pulling you inside. No one is pushing you inside. But when I say, what is the word here? Flimsy. One meaning is what? Easily breakable. I said you have to write two more words. What are they? One is brittle. One is, the other is fragile. You don't write. What does it mean? You are very good at English, one possibility, and you think it is not worth writing, second possibility. Or third, you think it's below my dignity, master says, right, why should I write, third possibility. What should I think? I have told you already, if you write, you don't lose anything. It will consolidate your knowledge. It will consolidate your English knowledge, and that will help you in the exam. But you take things for granted, you don't write, that is not a good thing. Please don't come here to relax. I'm doing this at something like a race against time. I'm doing this, how am I doing this? A race against time. For two reasons. Usually editorial analysis of Hindu editorials, they spend one an hour. If you take others, how much time do I spend every day? 30 minutes. And I'm not giving information, I'm giving a lot of words, language related. That is an uphill task, very difficult task. And second, from the management I had to buy time. By time means not literally. I had to request the director to give me some more time for the sake of the students to enrich their knowledge. My time is only 60 minutes, but how much time do I spend every day here? An hour and 30 minutes. And you come here, you don't write, you relax, and you don't listen attentively. Not a good thing. My only request to those students who are not writing, if you don't want to write, please don't come. I would like to say point blank, I don't care. I am not, uh, I don't want to beat about the bush. You know the expression, beat about the bush. Point blank, I'm telling every word I say is worth writing. That is the reason why I come here. And you take it for granted you don't write, better you don't come, stay back. As simple as that. I may sound a little harsh. I don't mind what is the reason. I know for sure this is like constructive criticism. Destructive is not advisable. Constructive is advisable. I know youngsters, when you write the same thing many a time, you remember. What is the problem here? You have to learn a lot. You have to read a lot. You have to remember a lot. By writing once, by listening once, you cannot remember. Many a time. Like the other day you saw, I brought yesterday so many words, the words you learned last week. Could you answer? That is a classic, typical, that's what happens. 
You don't try it number of times, you don't revise number of times, you don't listen attentively. Same thing happens. So please don't make me say all these things. I don't like to say all these things. But it's very painful when I see students don't, not writing. I'm forced to say all these things. Don't make me, don't force me to say all these things. Let me focus on my teaching. You will get enriched, I'll be happy, you'll be happy. But unnecessary deviation, not a good thing. Shall I continue? So what is the word flimsy? One meaning, easily breakable, brittle, fragile. But in this context, it is not that meaning. Write the second meaning. Flimsy means cannot be justified. Cannot be justified. Flimsy excuse, write the combination. Flimsy excuse. Anil, you're not writing, Anil. Keeping you in mind, I've said all this. Exactly, I have, looking at you, I had to say all these things. Not a good thing. So, flimsy excuse means what? Silly excuse, cannot be justified. The context talks about what? They, they, he has been arrested. They have given a reason, but that reason is not acceptable. It's a flimsy reason. For it relates to a conversation he is alleged to have had. Please underline this. The other day you got one pattern, perfect infinitive. Do you remember? They seem to have completed, seem to have completed, alleged to have had. What is the main verb here? Have. What is the past participle? Had. This is a very good pattern. In many exams, they've given questions related to this particular pattern. So just underline. We'll uh, look at that at a late, after some time. Nine years ago with Mrs. or Manning on a computer break-in attempt. Break-in has two meanings. The typical meaning is interrupt. Don't break in while I'm speaking. Means what? Don't interrupt while I'm speaking. Another meaning of break-in, break into. Break into means what? Enter by force. Break-in also means the same thing. Please write the second meaning of break-in. Break-in means enter by force. Second meaning. One, interrupt. Break an attempt that ultimately failed. At a time when strong men led governments and resurgent nationalism. This is a very good word. Underline the word resurgent. But nationalism is a noun. What, what is resurgent? Adjective. Generally, we use it as a noun. Please write the noun form. Resurgency. Resurgency. Resurgency means a rebirth. To rebirth. You know the word rebirth. To, not literally, you do something and uh, for some time you're active, after that uh, it becomes monotonous and slowly your spirits come down, your motivation comes down and it reaches a stage where it is not challenging, it is not uh, inspiring. But something again triggers, then you want to bring back the old glory or standards, revive the standards, then what is the word? A resurgency. That's a very good word. Resurgent nationalism. and. Uh, are at the forefront, please underline, at the forefront, means they're leading the, some sort of uh, protest or some sort of uh, uh, movement at the forefront, okay, of domestic politics in many countries. The arrest of a prominent anti-secrecy advocate. Underline the word prominent. Prominent means what? Outstanding, distinguishable, outstanding, distinguishable, Eminent, you know the word eminent, eminent scientist. See, I am trying to take you guys to a different level altogether. Not by looking at the screen, not by focusing, projecting on screen, not by teaching very slowly. My ambition, when I spend a lot of time, my ambition take the students to a different level altogether. So that you can compete at the national level, not one exam, any damn exam, it doesn't matter. You have to reach those standards. For that, you've got to be very attentive. You've got to be quick in writing. And you've got to, you should get used to taking running notes, listen and write. And you have to think differently. What are the words he uses? What sort of explanation does he do? What is the intellectual caliber? What sort of inputs are coming in from his side? You have to contemplate. Then slowly you go to a different level, higher level altogether. But casually you come and you see the word, okay, resurgent, rebirth, you stop there. What is the fun in coming? What is the fun in learning? No, you got to think out of the box thinking and a higher level of thinking is required. So prominent, distinguishable, eminent, outstanding and uh, someone who has got abundance of talent. 
Anti-secrecy advocate. Underline the word advocate. What is the general meaning of the word advocate? Lawyer. But here, one who promotes a particular idea. Please write the meaning. Advocate of some cause. Means what? He promotes. He works for a particular cause. Advocate of uh, anti-dowry movement. So he wants to promote anti-dowry thing. He is likely to have a chilling effect. Chilling effect means something negative. It causes fear. Fear causing effect. Chilling. Not the regular chill. Chilling effect means what? Causing fear. On whistleblowers, that is also, this word has become very popular because of this guy, uh, Asang. Whistle, he is known as whistleblower. Means what? Someone who discloses classified information. Someone who makes public information that is not supposed to reach the public and related to the government and not usually negative, not positive. Then we say he is a whistleblower. Means what? He discloses or reveals or divulges information that is considered negative or bad. Everywhere. So chilling effect on whistleblowers everywhere. That could ultimately weaken democracy itself. Again, you have got the word could. Here could talks about what? Possibility. Chances are less. Nothing to do with the present or past. So that's it. Clear? Fine. Now, the question here, why should we read the editorial and what can be learned from the exam point of view? So we start with this question, what can be learned from this editorial? No idioms as such in this. And phrasal verbs break in. They have used twice. And grammar, one is owing to. Now be attentive, you have to respond. Already you have written. Owing to means what? Due to. And one more you got to have had. Which one is that? Perfect infinitive. You got one more, could. Which one is that? Helping verb could. It talks about possibility, chances are less. And two more you got. What are the remaining two? Let me check. Whatever you see in green, that is grammar related. Nevertheless, however, which one is more formal? Yes. All right. And uh, break in attempt, uh, that already we have discussed. One, two, three, four, five. All the five you got? Fine. Now, here, 10 phrases. These are very important for you guys. This knowledge will help phrase improvement, sentence improvement, close test, all these places, word pillars, these help you a lot. What is the first one? Sexual assault allegations. Assault, write one more, physical assault allegations. We'll use more words. Already I've written sexual assault. Please write physical assault. Physical assault allegations. The death penalty. What is the other expression for death penalty? Capital punishment. At the heart of the drama means the most important thing, the main idea, the main thing, center of something, at the heart of the drama. Okay? Line of reasoning. Also write one more, line of thinking. Line of reasoning, line of thinking. The alleged crime of conspiracy. Alleged crime of conspiracy. Alleged crime of embezzlement. Write one more word. Alleged crime of embezzlement. What is the meaning of the word embezzlement? You have got many a time. Embezzle, swindle, misappropriate means what? To take the organization's money illegally. Embezzle money, swindle money. You work for a company, you take the money of the company illegally. Then what is the word for that? Swindle, embezzle, misappropriate. Tipping the scales means changing the direction, uh, tilting in favor of someone or something. Tipping the scales. What is the meaning of the word scales? Remember the other day you got the passage related to juvenile delinquency. The title of the passage, what do you remember? Unequal scales, something like that. Scales means what? The balance. Balance. If you go to the court, you see the statuette of the lady who decides, represents justice. Blindfolded. If the person's eyes are closed, what is the expression? Blindfolded. If the person's mouth is closed, what is the word? Please write the word. Gagged. Gag. Gagged. Closing the mouth with cloth or something. Tape. He has been gagged. She has been gagged. 
means something mainstream media mainstream culture write the related words mainstream media mainstream culture mainstream people mainstream technology also you could write a resurgent nationalism a resurgent means what a rebirth discovering yourself it is like second innings at the forefront means what leading something leading a movement who is at the forefront he is at the forefront that means he is leading the agitation or protest or the movement a chilling effect means what an effect that causes fear among a lot of people now you got about 20 words i guess uh, 20 words what are the words you got suppression means what you have to respond uh, suppression means what repression or subduing remember the word subdue elude e escape evade or dodge classified information sensitive information something that cannot be disclosed to the public and restricted information only a few people can access that information asylum one meaning place for lunatics in this context shelter specifically political shelter conventions practices or traditions protocols again established behavior that goes with officials and complainant what is the other word better word plaintiff person who files a case plaintiff the other person defendant that's easy i file a case the other person tries to defend what is the word for that defendant and extradition deportation or banishment and conspire join hands with someone to do something that is negative or illegal espionage spying endangered threatened constrained restricted or limited irony contradictory situation or situation where positive and negative things both exist at the same time and what is the other word for that paradox clamor uproar and write one more word clamor uproar please write the word tumult this is also a good word sometimes they use in the newspaper t u m u l t tumult shikant tumult and what is the next word dissemination spread widely allege why accuse allegation accusation mike this come mike oh here the letter r is missing purloin steal that's right indictment one is accused of a crime the other indicator or illustrator of something bad in the society which has to be condemned flimsy one is fragile and brittle what is the other meaning cannot be justified and prominent outstanding distinguishable eminent all these and whistle blower right now you got the handout today we are going to do we are going to do it differently i hope you have time i'll take 5 minutes has it come okay 5 minutes uh shigan give the uh, be ready with the mic today i am not going to read out the answers now first match the word to its meaning one of the students will take the mic and tell the answers who is going to do that very fast do you understand english huh. i want one of the students to take the mic and uh, match the word to its meaning already have listened twice elude asylum please bring the mic here please bring the mic this girl is very always ready to say something ha huh, you only today i will catch you please give it to her please stand up read the word tell the meaning others listen if it is wrong i will tell then make you have the mic so don't feel shy stand up stand up and tell the answers match the word to its meaning elude avoid dodge elude ha huh. have you had your lunch yes ha huh, please make it there are so many students you have to make it loud and clear elude ha huh. what is it evade ha huh. avoid dodge evade avoid dodge. dodge right and what is the other one asylum asylum ha huh. what is it asylum no i will use this one so elude is what evade avoid dodge asylum means what shell no 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 only that girl 
The mic is with, with only one girl. She has to respond. Uh, asylum means what? Shelter. Shelter, refuge, sanctuary, sanctuary. extradition. You have to tell. Ah, deportation, deportation, banishment, banishment. espionage, spying. spying, eavesdropping. Please write. Eavesdropping. Eavesdrop means to listen secretly. That is like spying. Threatened. And uh, endangered, threatened. threatened, dissemination, spread, spread or circulate. Yes. Goes with what information? information. Indictment, accusation, accusation of a serious crime. crime also indicator or illustrator of something bad in the society which has to be condemned. Not very happy, but I appreciate still. I want one of the boys to take the mic and uh, tell the answers. Word combinations. Please do that. Uday, Uday Baskar, please. Give the mic to that boy. Please pass it on. We don't have a lot of time. Every second matters. Don't waste time. Intentionally, I have not written. You have written twice. You have listened to me thrice. Now, it should not be a problem to tell the answers. And today, we distributed at the same time with the mock test paper. Sometimes what happens, uh, some students don't read the passage. Then, uh, why to listen to the master? We'll spend time on this handout. Please, don't waste time. Take the mic and tell Please. Have you given the mic, Shrikant? Uh, let him stand up and read out. So the, you see a blank, you have to tell the word. No, no, please don't waste time. I am here for you guys. Every second is yours. Sir, he wants me to tell. Is uh, it okay? Word combinations. Yeah, oh, you are there, Karthik. Please. You should not take so long. The, the first, first one is what the arrest has. Global. Uh, what is the word before global? The arrest has what? Renewed. A renewed. Global. Please write the word. A renewed what? A global A debate. A global debate. That is enough. The arrest has renewed. Write the word renewed. And what is a, at the what? At the heart of the heart drama. Of the, at the heart of the drama. Heart is a word. Nevertheless, can WikiLeaks be considered a mainstream media, mainstream media organization? Media at a time when strongmen led governments and resurgent nationalism. resurgent nationalism, resurgent nationalism, the arrest of a prominent anti prominent anti secrecy advocate. Right, thank you. Now, what are the synonyms of espionage? Spying, eavesdropping, eavesdropping, listen secretly. And uh, please write one more word infiltration. We should have changed uh, infiltrate, infiltration. Listen and write. You don't have to look at the screen. Cross that stage. Infiltration, infiltrate. You go to some other country secretly, you gather the information, and the person is called infiltrator. The act is called infiltration. It is nothing but spying, clamor, uproar, noisy protest. And you got a new word today. What is it? Tumult. Remember that one. And uh, prominent. Outstanding, distinguishable, eminent, talented, all these. Now, I said I would bring every day five uh, phrasal verbs and five idioms. Now, you don't have to read out. Listen and write, uh, follow out with somebody. All these phrasal verbs go with the family, family related. I'm going to bring on the base of a theme, family related phrasal verbs. Follow out with somebody, write the meaning. Fight with somebody, fight with somebody. And write the example, I fell out with my brother, or I fell out with my sister. Means what? I had a fight with my brother, I had a fight with my sister. Get along. Get along means to have a good understanding. To have a good understanding, or to have a good rapport. To have a good understanding, or to have a good rapport. And what is the next one? Please write one example. Generally, we ask the question, do you get along with your brothers and sisters? Please write. Do you get along with your brothers and sisters? Generally, brothers and sisters, a fight. We call it sibling rivalry. What is it called? Sibling rivalry. So we ask the question, do you, do you get along with your brothers and sisters? What is the next one? 
Look after somebody, write the meaning. Take care of somebody. Look after somebody means what? Take care. And look up to somebody, this is very useful. Look up to somebody means take someone as a role model. Take someone as a role model. Today I'm not writing because we could not change the color. Yellow, no point in writing, it's not visible, not distinct. So listen and write, look up to somebody, take someone as a role model. Write one example. I look up to my grandfather. I look up to my grandfather when it comes to my career. I look up to my grandfather when it comes to my career. Okay. And take after. Take after means resemble. Write the meaning of take after. Take after means what? Resemble. She takes after her father. She takes after her father. Means what? Means what? She resembles her father. Very simple. Now idioms, first you write all ears. All ears means ready and eager to listen. Ready and eager. What is the spelling of eager? E-A-G-E-R. Ready and eager to listen. I hope you're all ears. Means what? Are you ready and eager to listen? Now cold feet, write the meaning, to be nervous. To be nervous. Imagine I ask you to come here and give a presentation. What will happen? You will have cold feet. You'll get nervous. Now keep an eye on. Means what? Generally we say. Uh, while traveling we say, keep an eye on my luggage. Westerners, they don't do that. They never say that because they are not supposed to talk to strangers. And uh, forget about telling something like, keep an eye on my luggage. That is ruled out. Because there is a popular saying in the US and in the UK, what is it? Never trust a stranger. What is it? Never trust a stranger. They don't talk to strangers. But here, while traveling, we come across a stranger. We want to get down. We say, please keep an eye. We trust that person, though a stranger. Quite opposite. And what is the next one? Learn by heart. Means what? Learning without understanding. Learn by heart means what? Learning without understanding. You don't understand the concept. It is like, write the expression, mug up. What is the meaning? Mug up. Mug up means the same. And what is the last one? Turn a blind eye. Write the meaning. To ignore something. To ignore something. I write uh, one example. He turned a blind eye. He turned a blind eye to the suggestion. He turned a blind eye to the suggestion. Now today we have run out of time, so I cannot spend time. But tomorrow also we'll see. I will try to squeeze in some time. Have you come prepared all these words, last week words? No, no, the session is not over. Uh, has he come? Uh, information, media, write a few words, then we'll wind up. First you write uh, media, media. And after that you listen, don't have to write. When you talk about media, we talk about uh, the broadcast media, the print media, the electronic media, and the latest is what? The cyber media. What is it? Cyber media. But uh, when it comes to media, today they don't report the right stuff. They write some nonsense. They write something that is sensational. What is the word for that? Please write the expression. Yellow journalism. Yellow journalism. Yellow journalism means sensational news. Sensational news. Then you write the word. I don't know to what extent you can make out. But uh, black you can make out. Write the word scribe. Scribe means what? A reporter. Reporter or journalist. Scribe. Then you write the word, already I've got this word, baron, media baron. Media baron means what? An important person in the field of media. Liquor baron. Sometime back uh, the press would write about Vijay Malia, they would write liquor baron. But today we consider Ramoji Rao. Our Telugu person Ramoji Rao, he is media baron. So baron means an important person in a particular field. That's it for today. We have run out of time. It's already 3.45. I would like to stop here. Thank you very much.